on target. Almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. Hello and welcome to this edition of Yakima on Target. I'm your host, Sean Davido. Today I'm joined by Andrew Holt, the Executive Director of the Downtown Association of Yakima. Thank you for joining me today, Andrew. I'm glad to be here. Now, you recently gave your annual report at a public meeting. Yes. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that. Give me some highlights about uh, the meeting and, and your report. Great, great. I'm happy to. So, uh, we gave uh, the report on Tuesday. It was a very snowy morning. Yes. Uh, we had it at our Tuesday breakfast meetings. Uh, so, we appreciate all the hearty souls that came out. We got about 25 people there. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We decided we were going to have it. Yeah. We were going to have it uh, regardless. Um, and we know that some folks wanted to come and couldn't make it. Yeah. Uh, but we just felt that we needed to, it was February and we needed yeah. to have our, our annual uh, meeting. Yeah. Uh, so basically, uh, we recapped 2018. Mm -hmm. And I would say the theme for 2018 was uh, growth uh, and enhancement of the things that we had. Uh, the reason I say that is uh, when 2018 started, um, I had been on the job as the first ever full-time executive director right. uh, for nine months. Mm -hmm. And then John O'Rourke, who heads up our maintenance and beautification crew, uh, had been on the job for about seven months. We mm -hmm. assumed that contract in July of, of 2017. So we kind of knew what our job was now yeah. when right. 2018 started. Uh, so the idea was now that we know what, what we're, our responsibilities are and, and what the city has given us um, and, and what we've taken on, uh, let's grow that, let's enhance that. And then also, um, we didn't really plan on it, but in 2018, we also took on the farmer's market. Mm. Uh, so we just talked about uh, those things. And I would say, uh, as far as growth and enhancement, as far as events, uh, the highlights were uh, definitely the Craft Beverage Walk, which is right. a great partnership with yeah. Craft Beverage Yakima. We saw our attendance uh, more than double. We saw about a 110% increase in that. So that event has really taken off. And it's a good event because it, it brings people into businesses. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then we saw um, downtown summer nights continue to grow. Great uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, it's uh, grown about a, another 35% and mm -hmm. it grew quite a bit in 2017. So uh, we expanded the beer garden uh, to almost encompass the entire parking lot between um, Antolin and Northtown, and uh, it was full uh, most of the time. So that was good. And then uh, Chalk Art Fest, uh, which is our um, community art uh, day uh, on North 3rd Street, uh, the second Saturday in October. Uh, we saw a huge increase in that, and we kind of um, souped that uh, event up a little bit, kind of kind of made it a little more fun, a little more excitement to it, and we'll, we'll continue to do that in, in 2019. Um, so those were, as far as events, mm -hmm. that was a, that was a um, growth and enhancement. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the farmer's market, mm -hmm. uh, that was something that um, the city asked us to apply for, um, and we went ahead and, and did that. They awarded it to us, uh, but they did it. There was a public process. I think it took a little bit longer than everybody expected. And so when we actually got awarded the farmer's market, uh, we had about six weeks to, to put it together. Hmm. Uh, so um, Yvette Lippert is our farmer's market manager. We hired her, and she did a great job ramping everything up and having that farmer's market ready to go uh, when Mother's Day weekend came around. And, uh, and the market uh, had a very solid first year, yeah. uh, a lot of good fundamentals for us to grow on. And I think the biggest thing was um, Yvette did a great job of getting us uh, to be a member of the Washington State Farmer's Market Association. Right. And uh, that gives us a lot of cred credibility right off the bat, and it also gave us a lot of resources. We were able to implement the WIC and SNAP programs mm -hmm. um, probably much faster than, than we would have been able to, um, you know, because of the, the association. So uh, there was other great things, the facade improvement program. We gave right. out over $13,000 to three different projects. The maintenance and beautification program. Uh, really uh, did a great job with the flowers, the hanging baskets, and John O'Rourke has continued to build really good relationships with uh, the city um, and with our stakeholders and has really made uh, that program a lot more efficient. Mm -hmm. So I would say that's, that's kind of a recap of 2018. That's a good wrap. <laughs> um, what can we look forward to mm -hmm. spring, summer? What's coming up? What are some of the yeah, things you guys well, are looking at? Well, you know, the events are coming up. Yeah, uh, it's coming so, soon. Yeah. The snow won't be around forever. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> As we sit here, you yeah. know, it's uh, like nine degrees outside. Yes, exactly. But uh, sooner than later, it's going to be, you know, 85. It'll be spring and, yeah. and beautiful Yakima yeah, weather. Yeah, so. yeah. So we're looking forward to 
another great event season, um, Roots and Vines, right. uh, which continues to be a real another strong one event. Of my favorites. I, yeah. I love the bluegrass music. I love all the Americana, just the feel of that event. Yeah, so. yeah. So. Well, you're our guy. Yeah, it's you know? one that we go every year. <laughs> so we attend quite a few things downtown. Good, so. good. Well, we appreciate it. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So that'll be. Um, the third Saturday in May, May 18th. Yeah. And so we're looking forward to that. And then downtown Summer Nights uh, is, uh, will be a 10 week series. We will take off um, 4th of July. The 4th of July falls on a Thursday this year. Uh, so we will not have a downtown Summer Nights that Thursday, mm -hmm. but we will extend it a, a week longer this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually wrap it up uh, the second um, Thursday in August, but we'll go to August 22nd this year. But, you know, so we're looking forward to that. Um, and we have uh, forged a new partnership uh, with uh, Yakima Uncorked. So mm -hmm. Yakima Uncorked, which is put on by the Wine Divas right. um, and is a great event uh, late in June. Um, they needed a, a, a nonprofit to partner with, um, mm -hmm. so they came to us. And so we're excited about that. We'll be handling uh, the beverage uh, area and helping them out with some logistics. Um, and then, of course, uh, as we roll through, um, that's pretty much the summer uh, for us. Downtown Summer Nights is, is very encompassing. And then the other thing that, that's interesting is um, we're part of the State Main Street program. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's a great resource too. And the uh, and that's managers... Kinda, that's kind of new, isn't it? That's it it in is. That's the last year or yeah, so? Yeah, well, it, it's not... It, it helped us come into being. Yeah. Uh, when we uh, formed uh, in 2015, okay, okay. Uh, we became part of the state uh, program. Okay. Uh, so it's recent for us because so we're, we're very recent. Um, yeah. And it's pretty recent uh, for the state. It's been in existence for about 12 years, I believe. Yeah. But um, they have a quarterly managers meeting. All the managers uh, from the 34 state programs meet every quarter and the summer meetings will be here mm -hmm. in Yakima so wow. we're excited to host that so we'll have uh, 34 managers along with uh, probably some family members here in Yakima for about uh, two days mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be in workshops but then we'll also have some tours and some fun social events for them so we're excited mm -hmm. to host that wonderful um, let's talk about you've been you've been here how long I started May 2nd of 2017 so about a year and three quarters. Okay. Yeah. Changes. What have you seen change in downtown? What's what's changed a little bit? Well, uh, or a lot. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 There's always a lot. <laughs> There's always lot a lot going, going on. on downtown. A lot going on. So. Um, I'd say uh, you know, and I, I always hesitate to answer this question. It's a good yeah. question, right. but I always hesitate because I always feel like I'm going to leave something out. Right. But um, I would say when I when I took the job here. Uh -huh. One of, the, one of the big reasons I took the job was there seemed like there were things happening mm -hmm. or things were about to happen, right. you know. And I think um, the biggest change or progress has been uh, some of those things happened right. um, and then a lot of other things have happened. So we've seen um, a, a growth in, in restaurants. Mm -hmm. uh, so right when I got here, uh, Crafted was just about to open and yeah. they have and they had a lot of success. Um, Norms has since opened mm -hmm. since I got here and Steve is doing a great job there. Um, Single Hill is a huge success. Um, mm -hmm. That wasn't even uh, on, the, on, the, you know, on the map when I came here. Yeah. Um, and the fact that that old J.C. Penny Automotive building, you know, that had been empty forever, yeah. uh, was, was uh, reclaimed and made into not only a great uh, tap room, but sort of like a, just a community. Yeah. It's uh, just almost a hangout. Yeah, it's yeah. a hangout, yeah. exactly. Um, and uh, we've seen uh, some, uh, I know I'm leaving somebody out probably, you know, Redifer has opened yeah. and they've become a real fixture in downtown. So there's just even... Easy Tiger is another one. Easy Tiger, right, out. exactly. Yeah. Um, all of that's happened in the last year yeah. and, and three quarters. Um, and the Tiatin uh, Hotel Project opened. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a really, uh, that was in, the, in, in progress when I came here, but it's really good to see that open. Mm -hmm. um, and they've got people living there. Um, so those are all, you know, big changes, yeah. right? I mean, all those buildings were not occupied or weren't in their current state. Um, and so uh, I would say that's a big change, yeah. definitely. And then I think for us, you know, the Downtown Association, the big change actually came with, with me in the sense that I was mm -hmm. the first yeah. full-time executive director. We then took um, the events. The uh, shift from city operations. Right, operations, yeah. right. And we had to create a business model where we could break even or make some money off right. them because it's a source of funding yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, and uh, we became an autonomous um, uh, association. And then also, like I mentioned, 
the maintenance and beautification, mm -hmm. that was uh, outsourced to somebody who was uh, uh, based in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And so when we took it on in July of 2017, it worked out really well because we're invested in the downtown, yeah, yeah. and uh, we've got a crew, you know, that lives here yeah. and wants to see part the of the community, right? Want, wants exactly. it to be a beautiful place. Exactly. So, so I think that uh, you know that's an exciting thing yeah. too, and it's a big change. Yeah. Right. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. Um, something Yakima could focus on. What would you like to see Yakima focus <laughs> on? What would you? What are you going to focus on in downtown? Yakima? Well, we're focusing on a, on a couple of things, but. Uh, we're having preliminary talks. Uh, the city is having preliminary talks with us uh -huh. um, about going back and taking a look at the, the downtown master plan right. that was created in 2013 and looking at that and saying, um, you know, what is valuable about this still and, and how can we make these things happen? And I think that's exciting because uh, instead of having random kind of ideas, although they're mm -hmm. good, it's better to have a plan yeah. and something you're working from. And that plan was a was a paid for by uh, paid for project that had a consultant who was an expert, mm -hmm. and it was a public process too. Uh, there was a lot of public input. So I think that, and there has been some things. Some things have been done in in that plan. Correct. And, and correct. We're, we are following that plan correct. downtown and the city of Yakima. Are, exactly. Are still continuing with that. Exactly. Plan. It's a long term yeah, project. It's a long term project. Exactly. For the exactly. betterment of our of our city. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. So. so taking a look at you know uh, making downtown a destination right. and taking a look at Yakima Avenue mm -hmm. and making Yakima Avenue truly a main street right. um, are some of the things that that I think are moving in the right direction. Right. The more we make uh, it a place where people want to come and hang out, mm -hmm. not just have dinner, but walk yeah. and stroll, or not just have lunch, but walk and stroll, a uh, place where people feel comfortable riding their bikes, mm -hmm. uh, all those things are positive. So, uh, and that plan calls for that. So, uh, those are that, that's something that we would focus on. Um, I think anytime we talk about making downtown more walkable, mm -hmm. more of a destination, uh, that's good for the downtown. Um, and then and I us, do see that. I do see yeah. more people out walking. I mean, yeah. just in the last few years, and I've been downtown for quite a while. <laughs> you see more foot traffic you, yeah. with, the, with the restaurants. You're seeing right. more, more business people, more people just enjoying downtown. Right. So it's, it's definitely coming along. Yes, so. yeah, and that's the exciting thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you were here. I was not, mm -hmm. but I, I, I'm told that you know, 15, 20 years ago, that was not yeah, the case. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was different. It's <laughs> it's a different feel, and it's you know, I, I love downtown Yakima. It's, it's my home, and so okay. <laughs> so I consider I consider this home. I'm down here most most of the time. Yeah, <laughs> so, right, right. So I spend eight hours a day here. Yeah. And so, so and yeah. it's great, and I, I encourage people to come downtown and sure. enjoy the enjoy the atmosphere. Yeah. So. Yeah, and it's it's growing all the time. It certainly is. You know. Is there anything else that you want to touch on? Anything else we should talk about? I just think that, um, one, I appreciate you having me. Yes, this thank you very great. much. Yeah. Um, but I just think that there's a lot to be excited about uh, yeah. regarding downtown Yakima. Right. Um, and, so, and we appreciate the support. You know, we really do. We appreciate all the support for the events. Right. Uh, we appreciate all of the volunteers. So our, our association, when you talk about full-time staff as far as operations, mm -hmm. you're looking at it. Right. Um, and then John O'Rourke and his crew are full-time with maintenance and beautification. So when we talk about putting on these events or the facade improvement program or all the things that we do, we're talking about volunteers, right. people who support the downtown because they just love it. Right. So, I mean, I can't tell you, you know, how much we value those people right. um, and how much, you know, it makes things happen. How do people volunteer? How, they, uh, they we'll put can, some information yeah, up on the screen, right, but right, how right. do people volunteer? Absolutely. E email us. You yeah. can email me directly um, at director at downtownyakima.com, yeah. director at downtownyakima.com. You can go to our website, which yeah. is downtownyakima. And we've been putting that on the screen good, for people. Good, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. Or if people like the, the phone, you know, they can call me at 571-1328, yeah. 571-1328. And uh, Priscilla Trevino, who is the head of our volunteer program mm -hmm. uh, will get in touch with you or I'll get in touch with you Wonderful. and uh, there's all sorts of events committees we have four committees that people can volunteer on so there's there's all sorts of opportunities wonderful yeah um, thank you very much thank you for yeah, joining thank me. you for having me Sean yeah. I really appreciate it all right and thank you all for joining us and we'll see you again on Yakmon Target 
To find out information about the Downtown Association of Yakima, visit downtownyakima.com, call the day offices at 571-1328, or send an email to director at downtownyakima.com. Stay on target. Almost there. Stay on target. Almost there. For information on Yakima on Target or other programs produced at the Yakima Public Affairs Channel, call 509-575-6092.